this is the only thing that bothers me. And this is why I kind of get defensive when people talk about, about Google. I'm a Google fan, right? It was weird to say because it's a corporation and then they, they have, you know, they have their their plans that have nothing to do with me, right? I have a friend that works, a very close friend who I uh, helped raise when she was, since she was little, since she was four years old. She works for Google. <clears throat> so and another reason to be a Google fan. Um, I'm a tech fan in general, right? So Sony's big in my list. Um, Microsoft's big in my list. I have all these, all these uh, tech companies that uh, I I've very much, much appreciate. I appreciate Apple, but I, I have a problem with a lot of things they do. This is what bothers me when people talk about Google. It's like, especially with content creators. Uh, we'll see later on on YouTube. There's a lot of negative videos of, of Stadia on YouTube. A platform that was bought out by Google and is now a, a giant. In fact, it's the same technology uh, that they're showing people their video uh, <laughs> that puts down Stadia uh, to their viewers. You see what I'm saying? And then they probably found that video with the technology that create that that uh, Google created with the search engine. You see what I'm saying? And they're probably watching it on a phone whose technology uh, was developed by the software side, right? The, the Android was developed by Google. Does that make sense? Well, I guess I guess you're allowed to do that. I'm not saying you're not allowed to do it. It's just, I find it ironic. It's very irking to me for for whatever reason. Uh, and, be, and they don't do it with the other platforms though. That's, yeah, I guess, I, I guess everybody does it with everything. It's very funny. I haven't put my thoughts together about that, but I almost want to do a video where I brainstorm that idea and then just kind of put it out there and just see how people see, see if people see the irony in, in, you know, what they're doing. Of course, at the end, it's always going to be like, well, you know, freedom of speech. I can say what I want. I'm like, yeah, you're right. I can't argue with that, <laughs> but it's very funny. I'm a tech fan. Also, folks never gave Stadia a chance because if they did, most would like it. That's in, that's what bothers me. I got into like this little discussion with a uh, cloud gaming battle channel. Uh, I know I should stop. I shouldn't get into like comments, uh, uh, arguments, but I did. And then I was like, well, this, they put a video out. Um, it's very biased on how Google is, is bad. Stadia is okay. Google is terrible, blah, blah, blah. Google bias is thick on this one. And we literally just went 20 uh, comments through. And I was at the end of the day, we kind of back, went around in a circle and I was like, well, okay. So my original statement about you, you're not liking Google, even though Stadia is great uh is you know we're back to that so why don't you make a video that says uh google's great stadium marketing is not i should show you guys the link <laughs> no i'm not going to you guys can find it i look forward to the video uh, about how stadia is great and google marketing is is not and literally the next day he sends me a link he's like here you go and it was the exact same title and he went in hard and it still bothered me, but I give him props because he kept it very on brand. You know what I mean? State is great, but, and then just railed on Google marketing. So I was like, okay, okay. I give you that. <laughs> respect, respect. Uh, you can Google that. <laughs> I, I wouldn't be surprised if he shows up at the end of this show uh, when I go through YouTube.